You're watching 8-Bit Days a Week, and I'm gonna be playing um, a shooter game that did not release on the PlayStation 1, but it was ported to the SNES. And this is UN Squadron. And if you only played the SNES version before, you'd notice that um, hmm, I'm able to choose this plane immediately. It's not possible in the SNES. And another thing, there is two player. Uh, simultaneous play, that is, on the original arcade version. And yeah, this came out in the arcades before the SNES version, of course. And another difference is that stages are actually fixed unlike the SNES where you can actually get to choose which to attack first and yeah you, see, you can also see the sh stages were shorter but it's the same uh, horizontal shooter fun we've come to expect Oh, come on. Can't die now. Oh, yay. I can continue where I have died. Alright, yeah, that's a bonus. Because, yeah, unlike the SNES version, you restart the stage if you die maybe I should buy some stuff Phoenix at least okay so yeah as I mentioned uh, this was not released on the PlayStation 1 not even on the Capcom collections thing that they did unlike the Ghosts and Goblins series or the 1940 series Just wasting my Phoenix missiles. You know, this game isn't as popular as I would think should be um i definitely recommend it Arr! and uh, yeah shooter fans probably know this one and um, I say it's really I think it's uh, worth to have it on your uh, USB drive for your PlayStation Classic this is actually based on an anime I believe area 88 I honestly haven't watched that. So I don't know how... How well it was adapted from... 
the show or something. Yeah, no thanks. So performance is good, um, no frame, uh, frame rate drops, we got a solid 60 here, something I don't believe the Super NES version, version had, um, I remember it had slowdowns, although it's not as bad as, it's not bad, <laughs> it, you barely feel it only very certain places so you do almost think there wasn't any slowdowns in this game on the Super NES to make one turn later. So yeah, I normally use Greg because he doesn't seem to die as easy as the other two, Shin and Mickey. Should have grabbed at least something. But I guess it's a force of habit. I end up always not buying anything because I'm saving up for like uh, the best plane, the Ifrit. Kind of weird having this plane early in the game. I guess it makes things really significantly easier. More or less. Oh, I have an apalm. Alright, let's go! Oh, 
Alright. Well, I think I sh probably should end the video at from this point. And um, if you have any game requests that you'd like to see, uh, let me know in the comments. And you are watching 8-Bit Days a Week. Like and subscribe. Thank you.